Kurt Civilette, the horn instructor at the Michigan State Community Music School. That was the etude that's been asked for the MSBOA High School audition for 2014. It can be found in what's called the Blue Book, which looks like this, and it's on page 119. You can also get it from your band director. And um, it's a pretty difficult piece, but everything's right on the page. So there's nothing tricky about it. If you follow the dynamics and articulations that are written on the page exactly to the letter, uh, you'll do really well in this audition. So first of all, I want to talk about the tempo. It's marked 120. That's the suggestion given by MSBOA. And that's pretty fast. Um, if you can't play it at 120, I think it's, it's fine. You can probably get away with a little slower as long as it's clean and consistent. That's the most important thing. It's much more important to play it at 108 or 104 and have it sound really in control than to try to play it at 120 and have it be frantic and have it not be as good. So find a tempo that's right for you. Don't worry so much about the required tempo. There's not going to be very many people who can play it at 120. I have a lot of trouble even playing it at 120. What I played just there was about 108, and I think that sounds nice and fast, and I was able to play it in control. Let's go through the measures um, one by one. If you want to put measure numbers in your part, that'll be helpful because I'll be referring to them along the way. There's basically articulations and dynamics that you have to worry about, and the right notes, of course. Um, we'll start off with talking about the articulations. There's lots of different articulations. There's two notes slurred together. There's three notes slurred together. I suggest you very carefully learn them at, when it's slow so that they come naturally when it's faster. As a judge, I would be listening for the player who is accurately playing the articulations that are on the page. If it's slurred, you know, the notes should be slurred, and if it's tongued, I want to hear a nice, crisp tongue. So listen for all the different variations, and I'll slow it down. So you've got all these different kinds of uh, articulations. And then the next thing you want to make sure you have is the dynamics. Really exaggerate dynamics. Most people do not play enough dynamics. So if you're really doing noticeable crescendos, diminuendos, the, you know, the have the loud playing be a good strong loud and the soft playing be a very contrasting piano, you're really going to stand out and the judge will really sit up and listen. So the dynamics in that first phrase that I just played they're all written out. There's crescendos. Um, what you want to do every time you see a crescendo, maybe write in parenthesis right at the beginning of the crescendo a piano. So what you do is you come down a little bit at the beginning of the crescendo and that gives you more room to grow. And same thing with the decrescendo. At the beginning of the decrescendo, you put an implied forte or write it in very lightly in pencil and that gives you somewhere to go. So listen what I'm doing here in the first couple phrases. And that gives you an idea of the, the shape of the crescendos, the way they're supposed to go. Now in measure five, that's the next little section, Nice strong sport soundo. And here you decrescendo into measure six. And once you get to measure six, you want to go back to a louder volume so that you can have somewhere to go on your decrescendo in measure six. Hear what 
I'm doing there, I'm really shaping those phrases. So maybe not everything I'm doing is actually marked, but it, it's helpful to add a couple little things to help create more contrast in those crescendos and decrescendos. And then the section in measure 10 is probably the hardest, and this is where you're going to want to figure out how fast you can play it based on how you can play this section. So that's, that's a very difficult thing. You have to slur two notes um, a bunch in a row, and you may not be able to ever do that at 120, and that's fine. You just find the tempo that works for you. Um, then you, you finish that section, measure 14. I want to hear a big crescendo up to measure 15, and then a really nice diminuendo down to measure 17. As much as you can do. In the next section, 18 and 20, again, the most important thing is the articulation. Slur her tongue, slur her tongue, ha, hung, tongue, 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 tongue. You know, you can do it like that, where you, you sing it or just play it very slowly, but learn it very deliberately and make sure you get it exactly right before you speed it up. And then, of course, when it's faster. swell in the middle of it. Um, and then toward the end here, this is where you're going to show how softly you can play. So, so in measure 21, you start piano and you get softer and softer and softer until the very end. Now, one thing about playing soft, be careful not to slow down. That's what um, a lot of people do. They think soft equals slow. So make sure you keep that tempo exactly the same. So that is the excerpt. I hope this video has helped to find out information about trying out for MSBOA All-State Band, you can ask your band director or you can log on to msboa.org. Good luck.